welcome everybody to Matt Forniok in five plays. If you're not familiar with what I do with he in these videos is I like to take a look at a short number of plays to kind of really illustrate the type of prospect. Uh, in this case, Matt Forniok, the, the interior offensive lineman guard center for Nebraska is. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the game tape. The first clip that I want to get into showcases Matt Forniok as a run blocker. And he's got some strength and he's got some power, but he's not going to completely maul and drive guys off the field. What he tends to do is he uses his upper body strength especially to be able to turn and so he can seal guys off. So see, so watch here, Forniok's lined up at the right guard and he's facing off against Davion Nixon who's a potential, you know, late first, early second round pick. And Forniok's able to get in, engaged with him and get those hips around just enough to spring the running back for the touchdown. If we watch this clip again, you can see Forniok as he engages, and he's able to, to get those hips around and seal off Nixon just enough the, to spring this running back in there for a touchdown. Against Northwestern, we see this once again. This time, Forniok's lined up right here at center, and he's going to take go engage with this defensive tackle. And this is where you see his his strength and that ability to to steer the defender, where he's able to engage and then push him like like you know turn him like a steering wheel um, off to the side so that he can seal him off for the quarterback to run. So as we see, he's able to engage, and then he's able to just turn him enough for the quarterback to get by. As we see it in slow motion, he's able to, right there, he gets his hands inside, and he's able to just use his power to turn that defender out of the way, and then get his hips around to seal him off. He's able to steer and seal. One of the nice things about Matt Forniok is he used to play an offensive tackle. He was a starting right tackle for a couple years. And he uses that ability and that experience out at tackle with, with his lateral agility to his benefit when he works inside. And, and I think him working as a guard is a better fit for him because Matt Forniak's much better in a phone booth than he is in space. And we're going to see that here against Iowa. He's right up at the right, ta right guard, and he's going to engage in pass protection with this defensive tackle. And he's able to get his hands in there with a nice good punch. Then he's able to just engage and then go back and forth with that, that defensive tackle. So not only are you seeing good hand placement and strength to lock on, and the thing about Matt Forniok that I love is he's got such strong hands that once he gets his hands on you, you're done. So as we see here, he gets his hands on the defensive tackle. The defensive tackle is trying to get off. And Forniok's then able to use that lateral agility that I was talking about to kind of move side to side with him so he can't get off this block. One of the things that Forniok's going to have to do in the NFL is, is be a hand fighter. And because your hand, hand position, defensive tackles coming in and trying to swat away, you've got to be able to have active hands and strong hands. And against Davion Nixon in this play... Matt Forniak's able to utilize that. So he's right here at the right tackle once again. And Forniak's able to get in here, get his hands up first. He's able to win. You know, a lot of times as an offensive lineman, you want to get those hands in first. He's able to do that, but he's able to keep fighting. Now, if I'm being a little nitpicky, Forniak's pretty high in his stance. And he's not moving his feet as much as I'd like. But he makes up for it with his active hands. And he's able to keep fighting, and he's able to actually grab a hold of the defensive tackle's hand that prevents him from making that move. And he's able to then just kind of keep fighting with him so that he can't get past him and can't get to the quarterback and gives his quarterback more time to make that throw. And the final clip that I want to show is uh, a game in the Northwestern game where he's lined up at center. And one of the things about playing in the interior of the offensive line is you need to have good awareness because defensive linemen are slanting and stunting and twisting 
and you got blitzing linebackers, you got to be able to kind of have your head on a swivel, have good awareness so that you can kind of pick guys up and not let them get free. And Matt Forniak's a guy that I really noticed this when, especially this past year when he played inside at, at guard and even at center, is he had a good awareness. Now against Northwestern here, the line, the linebacker at the bottom of that screen, the standing linebacker number twenty-eight, he's gonna end up coming inside, scraping off that defensive tackle for a blitz. And if we watch this in slow motion first, Forniak's gonna help out to his right with the right guard. He's gonna look to see that's his first look off the snap. Does that right guard need any help with this defensive tackle? He sees that he's in a good position. So Forniak starts to turn his attention to the left, and he sees 28 coming. And he comes off, and he goes, and he just lights him up. 28 thinks he's coming free. Forniak's able to come, and he blows him up. I know you're, the clip is, gets a little blurry with the ball being thrown, but he just blows him up and knocks him straight on his back. If we look at this in full speed, once again, Farniak looks right, comes left, and boom, blows him up. You know, Matt Farniak is an interesting NFL draft prospect because when I watch his tape, you see a lot of stuff that you like, but you see a lot of inconsistencies as well. You know, balance, at times he can lunge, he plays a little too high, uh, but you also see a lot of the positives. You see a guy that's you know moves well, who's got good strength, got good position versatility. And that's the thing I like most about my, Matt Forniak's game is his position flexibility. He's played, started at Nebraska at right tackle for multiple seasons. This past year in 2020, moved into right guard. And then when they needed a center on short notice, even though he's never played center before, he slides into the center role and plays very well. And so here you're getting an offensive line prospect that can play realistically five positions. And I think even though he's not a guy that I think is going to get drafted, I wouldn't be shocked if he was drafted in the sixth or seventh round. I don't think he will be. I think he'll be an undrafted free agent. But I think he's going to have a solid career in the NFL. You know, a lot of solid backup NFL linemen were undrafted free agents. And I think he's going to come in. I think he's going to be very marketable and and teams are going to have a lot of interest in him because he can play realistically all three interior offensive line positions and he can at least play right tackle and if you need a pinch I'm sure he could play on the left side and kind of fill in and so I think he's a guy that I think his best position in the NFL is center that's where I liked him the most during his senior year he played um, a full game against Northwestern at center he played half the game against uh, Illinois at center um, he played at times center against Iowa, and he played well. And I think that um, is his best fit. I think he, he want to get him in a spot where he's playing in a phone booth and not out in space because I think he can kind of struggle in space. But he's a guy that I think it can develop into a solid backup. And I wouldn't be shocked if in three years, you know, he's a low-level NFL starter at center. I mean, it wouldn't shock me. Nick Gates, a former Nebraska player, was an offensive tackle, and the New York Giants moved him in the side to center and started him this past year, and he didn't look half bad. And I think, to me, Matt Forniak is a guy that, you know, I think could be a Nick Gates-level starting center, and I don't know if you're willing to build your offensive line around him, but I think he's a guy that can play multiple positions, so I think a lot of teams are going to uh, really like him as a prospect. All right, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for Matt Forniak in five plays. I hope you guys enjoyed this. The best way to get more videos like this or any of my uh, film room sessions is to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, hit that subscription button and hit the, uh, the bells for all the notifications. Make sure you uh, follow me on social media at draft underscore Brian. Uh, and thanks for watching.